Today I'm showing you what ideal templates for marines and paratroopers should be after waking the tiger, which many people thought totally killed off special forces, but instead has made them more powerful than ever. Before we get into these paratrooper and marine templates, I want to mention a couple really important things. First off, after Waking the Tiger, the reason the limit was added to special forces is because now they have way more organization than any infantry division that you can possibly make. And by that, I mean it's almost double the regular infantry organization. And in case you don't know how big of a deal that is, organization is pretty much how long a unit can actually stay in combat and take damage. So special forces in a long way pretty much are very very much not dead. Now, a second thing I want to mention is Marines and paratroopers are used for two different objectives. That's common sense, but paratroopers are meant pretty much if you're wanting to try to capture some point of enemy territory that is really far away from the front line or pretty much encircle divisions. Now, with Marines, they're pretty much made to do naval invasions only because they both get penalties and bonuses for these different types of objectives. With Marines, the main idea is you want to go, say for example, right here in Charleston, you want to invade to the south with marines and the north and then attack. And you can also have a third marine actually attacking the port and have the other ones encircle the port. That's what marines are for, they're pretty much there to actually get you a foothold so you can advance into enemy territory. Now that that's been said, let's go ahead and get into some of these absolutely insane templates. Well, actually, one other really important thing I totally forgot to mention is this is going off of the idea your game is set in probably 38 or 39. You have the first two special forces research, this one and this one specifically for this video, and you have the first and second marines research. Now, this really doesn't matter, this just limits your special forces cap, but it's pretty much based on your entire army's size anyway, so you can take it or leave it, but it's really important to have this second marine because it boosts your organization and your soft attack. Now for the first division, this is the Marines Heavy 40. We've got some division templates here that do not have tanks in case you're in a multiplayer server that does not allow Space Marines or the mixing of tanks with infantry, which actually I'm really surprised. That rule has been reversed on a lot of servers after the, uh, the Waking the Tiger came out. So for this first one, as you can tell, we have 10 Marines, 6 artillery, and one heavy tank. The reason the heavy tank is here, you can actually, if you're not going up against someone with uh, a regular army, I would recommend having two self-propelled anti-aircraft batteries in here, uh, preferably heavy self-propelled AA. The reason is, well, you get air defense, so if you're going up against someone who might have air superiority, this works really great, and it still gives you a pretty decent armor bonus, but not as much if you were just to have a base uh, heavy tank or heavy tank destroyer. It really depends on what you would prefer to do, but if you're going up against someone like Germany with this, which probably shouldn't be using marines uh in there you should probably be using more infantry than marines but if you're going to use this over there it's preferred to have a heavy tank destroyer if they've gone heavy uh you know into the tank stuff now for your support you want support rocket artillery recon engineers field hospital and logistics company the reason is for field hospital and this goes for any nation you actually keep some of your xp so if you're getting really beat back big time in combat you get to keep more of your xp than you're losing so eventually hopefully fingers crossed you'll be better off now for the rocket artillery this is because rocket artillery is made to push regular artillery is made to defend now as you can see our breakthrough dropped just a little bit but i usually prefer rocket artillery still i've seen better results than it actually shows in the division designer so i don't know i just prefer support uh, rocket artillery for this now here's an example of what I was talking about earlier. Down here is a base infantry division with all the same exact stats. Keep an eye on the organization. Our organization with the marine division of the exact same specifications is 10 more organization. Now another thing too, since we're in 1939, if you were to go down and get these as I just showed, if you're going to be using marines or really, oops, oh what did that do? Okay, that only worked for motorized, so it didn't do that much. But if you're going to be the United States or really any other major that's going to be using Marines or paratroopers, I recommend using integrated support because for your support companies, it adds a huge bonus to attack and organization. And because of that, oops, our first division went from 40 to 49. I'm pretty sure our attack bonuses and stuff went up and our infantry itself went up. So keep that in mind. It's a really cool thing to go ahead and use those. 
Now for our second marine division here, we have tanks with this one as well. It is a base 5 marine divisions with 2 artillery or 1 of each, it's really up to you. I prefer having 1 of each in this. And 2 light tanks or 2 heavy tanks, it really depends. If you're going up against Germany, I'd recommend you use the heavy tanks because, let's be honest, it's Germany, he's probably going to have something waiting for you. Or, if it's going to be Japan, maybe just go ahead and use light tanks or one heavy tank destroy. It really depends on your production line, how much you're willing to dedicate to your marine divisions. So this is a pretty good one as well. Now we're going to get to the ones that don't have any tanks involved in them whatsoever that would work in multiplayer. For the first one is going to be 4 and 4. It's going to be a base 4 infantry with 4 artillery. The reason for this idea and the mindset of having 4 and 4, most people think it's a horrible idea, because marines have more organization than base infantry, this actually works pretty good. As you can see, we've got almost 40 organization with half artillery and half uh, infantry or half marines. For your uh, support, I would recommend adding support artillery, support rocket artillery, logistics, field hospital, and engineer company. So with this, it's a pretty good template in my opinion against someone as Japan. Now this template here is going to be a base 10 infantry or base 10 marines. I'm, I'm used to saying infantry when I go over templates. So for support, we're going to have rocket artillery, regular artillery, recon, engineer, and a logistics company. You might notice there's not a field hospital with this one or this one compared to these guys. Correction, this one. The reasoning behind this is if it's a 20 width, you really don't need Marines to have a hospital with them really, because these guys are expected to only be there for a limited time compared to these guys, which might be ordered to push forward and try to go ahead and actually be on the offensive for quite some time. So this one is the only one that I would recommend having a field hospital in the Marines. Uh, these two also are meant to go together. So what you would want to do with uh, the heavy marines or something along this line, you would might be want to build, let's say like three and three. And the idea behind this is use the artillery to attack around the port and then use one or two divisions to land with them on the sides while using just one to attack here. This way you're not completely overrun if they've got forces waiting behind there you can actually uh, set up a defense because the marines defense here the base uh 20 width uh just mar uh, sorry i can't speak today i'm tired the base just 20 width marines have 325 defense while this one has a little bit over half i would say about three quarters with 209 so it's better to have two of these templates right here now let's get into our paratroopers Paratroopers are absolutely insane. They have way more organization for some odd reason. There's is 70 here. I don't know what I did, but theirs is 70. And Marines have, oh no, they have 72. I misread that. I am so sorry. So for our first template here is going to be obviously 20 with Mar uh, paratroopers because you can't have anything else with paratroopers. Some people told me a long time ago, add a heavy tank. They're just joshing with you. Uh, because you have a tank in here or anything are the paratroopers it can't be para dropped unless you're in something like uh, Millennium Dawn or one of those mods that have airborne vehicles so for your side here we want support rocket artillery support artillery engineers logistics and a field hospital this division is more made to drop into enemy cities or really close to enemy cities and walk into them because these are made just to try to hold on somewhere. That, that's really all these are for. You can make multiple of these and uh, well actually only a couple because I don't have any divisions whatsoever out in the field right now. Again, this is just made to pair a drop somewhere and hold something specific. Now this division down here is made just to kind of annoy somebody. You can really make a lot of these. It's just a simple two combat width with uh, support artillery, support rocket artillery, logistics, field hospital, and engineer company. The reason there's a field hospital, look at the organization, it's 47, okay? I have, I think 10% of the paratroopers that this has, yet I have almost half the organization, which I, I don't understand why this template is like this, but still. This is an insane template when you're going to be using it to just pretty much annoy people. This works best if you're France or Germany or um, yeah, pretty much somewhere where there's a large front line, even Russia, Turkey, maybe Spain. 
Uh, it's made just to kind of start dropping all over the place and just make them pull their forces off the front line or send the reserves in. So it works pretty good if you're going to cooperate with the uh, Marines and paratroopers at the same time. So if you're the United States, you need to invade D-Day, you could drop the uh, paratroopers all over. Sorry about that, my phone went off. You can start dropping paratroopers all over France and then have Marines come in and try to take a port, preferably Cherbourg or something like that. So guys, that's pretty much all of the templates we're going over today. Saw somebody on Reddit ask this question earlier, so here we are. Anyway guys, if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like and a comment down below and subscribe as it helps my channel absolutely tremendously. I will see you guys next time. Stay awesome.